the check he handed you, I believe. Number seven, Cash Flanagan on the keeper, is dumped in the backfield by number four, Caleb Elliott. All right, we're back Lost on. We apologize. We have internet's kind of been choppy in and out. So we're connecting to some different hotspots, seeing if we can get a solid stream here. Uh, Desert, uh, Carlisle just had a huge stop on third down for a loss to back them up to fourth and a long four. And Desert looks like they're going to go for it if they can't get them to jump off sides. It looks like they're actually running a play. Now they'll step off. Look at the coach. Ball's on about the 43-yard line. They need to get it up to the 47 for a first down. Carlisle's bringing some heat. They're going to give it a fake on a dive. It's a toss. He's going to have the first down and more. A little stiff arm action. He's run out of bounds. That's number, number 12, 12 Harris, Harris for the Eagles. Play, right out of bounds and and about a 15-yard gain on this one. And that was a huge play in this drive because Carlisle took about 10, 10 minutes off the, the clock. The Bison 44-yard line. And if Desert would have turned it over there, they might not have seen the ball again until maybe one more possession in the whole first half. 11.06 to go in this first period. Desert coming up. They've got three H-backs. Well, two H-backs, a wing back. Got one running back in the back, but he's a fullback. Quarterback's going to keep it over to the left side. He's going to get Number about seven, four Cash, on the play. The bring up Pick second up about six. Three or four yards on the play. Tackle made. Thank you, Duran, for taking that. We're, we're about to play the quickest game in the high school football this year. <laughs> uh, it's it's seven twenty right six, now. Second it's crazy. And six it's it's flown by. Line. Ten forty-five and counting in the first half. Feel like we just started. Well, we did just kind of just start, really. Yeah, we did. This time they fake the dive. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's got a lot of room. He's over to 35, down to the 30. Going to be dropped down about the 29-yard line. Number seven, Cash Flanagan on the he carry. Picks up Cash about 10 Flanagan. yards on the play. Back number 54, Mitch Crouch. For go. his Eagles, the senior. Okay. I remember broadcasting him a couple years ago. We watched Bison, 39, we had a Clarendon versus uh, Desart at Desart. Wasn't a good night that night for Desart, but uh, – Flanagan on that team, and you really looks like a different person now. Really blo uh, blowed up over the years, kind of. Yeah, you know, well, you can tell he's got that that senior look right. to him. He's, he's got, more of a man like a now. Senior. <laughs> looks like a senior for sure. Now you gave that one to the, on the dive play. You got about two. Make a second and eight. They got our, our man Jim Moody down there on the sideline. We can get him Tackle to put that uh, camera ball. on the ground. There Pick he goes. A couple yards on the play. I think he just saw our text. <laughs> right. Uh, he's doing a great job. We, we, I got a couple shots. We've had, we've gone to him a few times yeah. here. As we come up, nine minutes and thirty seconds left here in the first half of play. Flanagan gets up the field, goes down to about seven, the twenty, 20 the yard pin. line. There, they're going to call the first. The it looks like it's just short, uh, one yard, yard to short. go. Third and one here. Tackle made by number sixty-two, Jackson Cunningham. 9-14 to go in the half. Same formation basically every time. And they're going to jump this time. That's going to back them up five. Another flag on the play. No, it's going to be offsides against the Bison. It's going to be on five the Bison. Five-yard step off. Apologize. Result of that play makes it first and ten for the Eagles. So five-yard penalty gives them the first the down. Bison 15-yard line. Ball on the 15. Getting close to... They're inside the red zone now, getting close to being in the goal area. Flanagan. Oh, oh nice toss. Man, that's going to be enough. That's a touchdown right there for Desart, number 12. That's number Walker 12, Harris. Walker Harris is in for the touchdown for the Eagles. I'm going to have to see if I can use yours as our Desart roster there. Walker Harris is, is your guy there. Eight minutes and 44 seconds left. Desart now going for two, trying to take the lead. Man goes in motion. Flanagan almost stumbles, gets into the end zone. Do they call him in? They do. That's a two-point conversion for Number the seven, Desert Eagles, and that makes it eight to seven. 
Uh, we got a ball game. In the first half, Let's go to a quick break. Eagles and when we eight. come back, we've got more game of the week. Trying to get these internet issues stick uh, together. We'll get it in just a minute. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now, because our focus is on your success. Okay. Back here, back here on the game of the week. Eight to seven is your score. 844 left in the first half of play. I think we may have fixed the internet. We'll find out here. Internet's touchy around here. Flanagan kicks off. They call a fair catch. That's number 20 on the fair catch. That's Isaiah Powell. Number 20, Isaiah He's Powell. He's junior. Fair catch of the kickoff. It'll be first and 10 for Ball going to go out to the 35-yard line. line. Bison were effective on their first drive. Able to uh, drive the ball down the field. Basically about three yards in a cloud of dust, just like you would have thought uh, it would be like here at Carlisle. And... Uh, Throw a couple passes in there, and uh, I'll tell you what, we we had a, a, a really good offensive possession there for the uh, Carlisle Bison. Motion man is the tight end. You got four on this side now. Oh, quickness there. Uh-oh, he's got a little bit of a hole there across the 50. That's number six, number Gavin, six Gavin Davis. Davis the little wildcat action right Pick there. Pick up of 17 yards on the play. Yards on the play. 12, nice job by First Gavin Davis. Davis has proven to be an absolute uh, uh, weapon here for the uh, Carlisle Bison, and it looks like a timeout is going to be called by those Bison. Timeout. We'll be back here in just a moment with more of the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week right after this. Great okay, Depression. So Nothing came good. easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. Back here on the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week. We got both teams coming in, getting ready for action here. Desart took the time out there. Uh, 8.27 left here in the first half of action. And uh, boy, right when you think, when you brag on the dog, it pees in the floor there and they're going. <laughs> there goes the internet again, but uh, hopefully it'll come back. 8.27 to go here in the first half of play. I've never well, heard that analogy from your yeah. dad. Well, there you go. You got that from your dad. Number six, Gavin Davis on the kick. <laughs> Actually got that from my basketball coach in high play. school. Oh, okay. Gavin six, Davis picks up Davis. five on the rush there. It's going to bring up a second down and five for the Bison. They're trying to, or Desart trying to make a few adjustments here. Come on, Internet, come back. Brings up second down and about five for the Bison. At the eight, oh, eight minutes the to go. Let, let me give you some shout-outs real quick. Anderson Striping, Nathan Campbell, Heating and Air, Grand Prairie Electric, Bank of England, Rossland Foods, Golden Family Investments, and Shelter Insurance for the Carlisle side. We'll get to the Desart side in just a moment. Little in and out move, nowhere really going there, and uh, that's going to be just a short pass. loss actually on the pass. For the number Desert 10, side of things, they want to say they're proudly Pack supporting by, two. the Desert Eagles, Farmers and Dead Merchants Young. Bank, Bill. Buddy Childress Pest little, little Control, no Shelter Insurance, Jason Jones, Harvey's Garage, Desert Ag and Auto. They say go Desert, and then we've got the Lily Pad Boutique, and we appreciate all of them. Grand Prairie Electric said, hey, blow us up. Well, so we're, thank you to Grand Prairie Electric. 
here in Carlisle. So here we go, second down, or third down and five. Carlisle needs something good to happen. Jet, Jet sweep. sweep. Nice little change up there, coming across the 40, down to the 39-yard line. Not quite enough. Oh. Yeah, it is going to be enough for a first down, and not, not the 39. That's the 36-yard line. And, uh, again, we talk about quickness of the half. It's already coming up on six and a half minutes It's left. Uh, Jim Moody got a good shot that time. Got him lined up. He is doing a great job for us. Get you some more. He's kind of on that end zone where they're running to. So if they get closer there, we'll get him some better action there. But handoff goes good. up the middle. Carlisle doing a really good job Number running the inside the zone the right there. The nice line. job by Elliott. Elliott has had a nice half. Too bad I can't keep the stats on him because uh, my uh, internet just won't let me do it. <laughs> Tackle made by number 21. We've tried. Brown. We've tried. We're, we're trying to trying to preserve as much internet as we possibly can at this point. So we're First coming up on the six-minute mark Florida. here. What a ball game this has been so far between the number two Eagles and the number eight Bison. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Carlisle trying to take it down again. Elliot going to keep this yep. one. He gets Pop pretty good. Got a flag Got coming a flag, in though. That was number five. Number nine, Holden Jones on the keeper. Barry Rockets by number five. on the tackle. Barry Rockets. And there are penalty flags on the play. So now referees are discussing. They're looking in, trying to see what's going on. What are they going to call? Are they going to wave it off? What are they calling here? Got flags in both backfields. <laughs> now, what are we doing here? Ball's picked up. Have yet to get a call. Here's a sign. Call is chop right. blocking so against chop block. the Bison. Great shot by Jim Moody on the refs there. Thank you, sir. So that, right, that brings back them yeah, up here. That's a, that's a 15 yarder there. That's a big one. That's a big one in this type of offense, especially. Putting yourself off schedule here. Let's see if uh, Carlisle can continue to move the ball. Really like the offense that uh, Carlisle's running to. Kind of, kind of reminds you of the old Oregon Duck offense. You know, it's a lot of spread, but you're you're uh, you're running, running most. Out of it. Yeah. yeah, back in the. Uh, so Carlisle going to get five back there on the offside. Flags on the play. Is it Joey Henderson offside back in those days. Is the call. Is that right? 2003-ish, 2002-ish. Well, I, I'm Oregon thinking. Quarterback. I'm thinking more along those the lines of uh, old line Stewart was the running back. Yeah. That and was a couple Dixon, years after that. Dixon was the quarterback. Talking about Chip Kelly. Yes, Chip Kelly first get going there. So we got shotgun formation now at UCLA, of course. Yeah, right back to the left. Three wide receivers to the left hand side. One to the right. Got a lot of room over there into the boundary. Trips to the left here. See what they run. Got some numbers outside the box. They're looking deep. Got oh. a man in the hole. Good catch there. He's going to get, get it a Number catch. Nine. That was close. Devin, the Devin Cooney. Three. Devin Cooney. Nice catch. Pick up about 13 to 14 so yards on the play. They, are they moving this change? Well, we got third. Nope, they're going to call it first down there. So 5 to go. Result to another Carlisle by son. And so Carlisle marching inside the 15-yard line. line now as they are trying to regain the lead here. 5.02 on the clock and rolling. 8-7, they're up. But they're in business, or they're down. Desarc's up, but Carlisle is in business. Little really? zone read, yep. nice, Good nice defense. job by the defensive tackle for number, Desert, number 68, Chandler Dobbins. He read Tackle that perfectly, six, played nine, it perfectly right Miller. there at the mesh point. Kind of went with the running back for just a second right. and then attacked the quarterback and uh, really kind of set that one up. And the 13 yard line. Good job staying home right there. Like you said, playing that mesh perfectly. So we're coming up on 420 to go now here before half. Second down and about eight. Another zone read action going up the middle. Ball's stopped. Going to be Number just nine, outside the 10 yard line. Tackle made by number five, Barry Rockins. So here we go. Three Pick minutes and three 56 seconds to go now. 
Carlisle, not in much of a hurry. You think at this point you're going to go for it here. So I, I figure Carlisle's calling it as such right here. Big 44 just come back in the game. Gabe Boyle. So third down, and I'm going to say six. Here ball on the 11-yard line. Nice little That's play him. there. Good Boyle. play going up all the way. They're going to get down to about the one. I don't see a signal yet. No signal. Yeah, they do Number come one. in with a Can touchdown. That's number four. Or was that 44? That was that Boyle. Was Gabe Boyle. Was number it? 44. That's what the stadium announcer said. That's what I thought I saw. But I, honestly, I thought it was four there for a moment. So 326 remaining. We've got Carlisle taking the lead. With a 13-8 score, kicker is up, and we, again, don't have the kicker on the roster here, number 58. If so. you missed it, just back your stream up. That was blocked. PAT is no good with 326 left in the first half. Bison 13, Eagles. So we're going to go to a quick break. 13-8 is your score. Carlisle with the lead here in the matchup of top 10 teams. We'll be back in just a moment. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but we know there's growth in the journey. At ATU, we value this moment because here, nature becomes your classroom. So breathe it in. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. We would like to thank Arkansas Tech University and D3 Auto Sales Heirloom Legal of Atkins for, for being a part of what we do in the games of the week. D3 Auto Sales sponsors the MVP every year, and the player of this game will be automatically entered yep. into the player uh, or the uh, MVP voting. Caleb, and Caleb Elliott is the one on that, boy, on that touchdown, and he, he's the one, if he ain't already on our list, he's definitely uh, making a name for he, it. He's up. To be there. nominated. So 13-8 now is your score. And again, the Desarc sponsors, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Buddy Childress Pest Control, Shelter Insurance, Jason Jones, Harvey's Garage, Desarc Auto and Ag, supporting the Desarc Eagles and the Lily Pad Boutique. Desarc takes it across the 32-yard line. Brown on the return. That's Brown's where they'll the start it. Peyton Brown on the nice card. Tackle. Made by number 10. Go ahead. Peyton. Number 20, Isaiah Powell, actually on the tackle there. And, uh, Good job. They stopped them short. Going to make them go Correct. 68 yards. 321 to go. First and 10 for the not, not necessarily their suit right now. They're, they're more of a, a slower offense. And uh, we'll see what happens here with 321 to go. Carlisle with the lead. Carlisle proudly supporting the Carlisle Bisons. you got Anderson striping. Nathan Campbell hitting an air. Grand Perry Electric and uh, Zach King. Bank of England, Riceland Foods, Golden Family Investments, Shelter Insurance, Victor Side and Schwartz. Timeout, Carlisle. Timeout, Bison. Thank you. Caleb Rouser is our, our kicker, number 58. He don't just play kicker with that size of body. He's, <laughs> he's a big old boy. Yep. Let's just stay here. We've, we've taken a, a few breaks here. And 13-8 is a score. It's been a fun one here. It's been a short one. Yeah, I got, I've got Grand Prairie Electric here. We got them all in. Uh, I, I'll we'll just say this right now. Carlisle, you guys are one of our favorite places to come to. Desarc, along with Hazen. You guys support us here at the Arkansas Sports Network in, in, carpet. Wa in ways that we really haven't. We want to thank Nick's Barbecue yes. for being a part of, of what we're doing today and, and the, uh, the uh, Booster Club of Carlisle for covering our meal today. Um, that has been a wonderful thing, and I, I tell you what, I, it doesn't go unnoticed, uh, unnoticed sure. and it doesn't go unappreciated as well. So when we come over here to the prairie of eastern Arkansas, we feel like, man, we've got something going on here. And I'll tell you right now, when it comes down to playoff time, it makes us want to come back. Oh, yeah, definitely. We are up here for a couple games last year, Hazen and Carlisle, uh, four games actually. Yeah. And, and it's just a lot of fun, and like, like you just got done saying, just a lot of support. Wow, what a hit in the backfield, number 55. Number seven. Yeah, 65. 
And that's when Petrus boys. Luke's in the backfield, but number 65, Luke Petrus. You, you know that name here in Carlisle. Luke Petrus with the stick. Desark losing four yards, coming up on three minutes to go. Yeah, like, I don't, not to beat a dead drum, but uh, my dad played for Brinkley back in the day. He remembers some Petruses back back in the day from Carlisle. Of course, they were always, and in those times, Carlisle, Lone Oak, and of course they played Hazing, Clarendon, and Desark all the time. But uh, Petrus, always a big time name in this community. So we're, we're under three minutes to go. Desark looking at the sideline, trying to, See what they're going to do to make something happen. Desert may be content to not score. Oh, no. not, not to say they're not trying to score, but Davion Bell take it down Davion in the backfield. The yeah, Desert's the going backwards. So, yeah, they four, had a loss on first Elliott. down. They tried to get the little toss outside, try to get a big, big play there. Carlisle stayed home, made great defense, the setting the edge that time. Got him for another loss. And right now, everything, the momentum is in Carlisle's favor at the moment. This is a huge third and about. About what, 18, 19? Oh, it's a long way. I think third. it's third and 19, uh, just we'll, by the we'll, eye check. We'll go third down in Lone Oak here. <laughs> well, that's not really that direction. Maybe Hazen. Yeah, no. is it? Lone Oak's more back that way, ain't it? I don't know. I might got to reverse here. Yeah. I think we're Pitch north is on the ground. Ball's oh, on the ground. No. It's inside the 10. Gotta get Who's on it. Get it. Go out of bounds. Carl's Carl's gonna, gonna get it. It's scoop a scoop and score. score. <laughs> Gay Boyle. That man is everywhere. Gay Boyle with the touchdown, and that is a big momentum shift here in this ball game. 142 left in the first half. Carlisle goes up on number two, Desart, 19 to 8 after the scoop and score. They're going wild here. Home of the Bison, they are excited, rightfully so, after that play. 19-8, Carlisle now got a decision to make. It looks like they're going to go for two this time. And uh, I've been in Jim Moody's shoes before, doing camera action on the sideline. You walk all the way to the other end, thinking they're going to come this way, and all of a sudden you got the big play going the other way. You're 80 yards Timeout, behind it. Bison. Timeout, Carlisle will take a break. 19-8 is your score, 142 left in the first half of play. We'll be back in just a moment so hot you're gonna think my prices look like a mirage wrong the prices on these trucks are the lowest prices ever my trucks look different drink plenty of water and wipe your eyes you're not gonna believe these prices go to d3 auto sales on facebook right now Back here on Game of the Week action. And, again, it, we, we kind of hit on it a little bit. We can't thank you enough, the towns of Desark and Carlisle, for supporting us here on the Arkansas Sports Network. And uh, we try to bring you the best that we can. I think that tonight it's a little bit hard just for the Internet situation. But we'll get that right, try to be prepared for that next time. Um, 142 left in this first half of play, and it's 19-8. And you've got uh, Carlisle lining up, motion man coming to the left. Handoff goes up the middle. Is he going to get He's it? He's in. I believe he is. That's, uh, that's four, Caleb Elliott. Caleb Elliott into the PAT. And he picks up the two-point conversion. It's 21-8. And half. that was Bison a huge play Eagles, for the Bison. In a, in a game like this where you're limiting possessions, both teams running the ball, running a lot of clock, that one hurt right there for Desart. That is a big momentum builder for Carlisle. And uh, it's going to be a lot to overcome. Desert's going to have to get some defensive stops in this game if they want to win it. That, that's it. 137 to go. And I've just said, you know, Desert might be content to take this one to the half. They're not a fast-paced offense. And, you know, really made a mistake there. Third and long really didn't have anywhere to right. go. Probably not going to make that third and long there. They don't they, – Maybe I'm wrong, but there probably isn't too many plays in third and long, third and 19 Rough. for Desart that they're going to make it. They pitch that ball, scoop and score, and uh, they put themselves down two scores. But Rough. we'll say this for the Eagles, they do get the ball here in the second half. Yes, sir. And, you know, it's, it's something that we haven't seen um, from all the reporting on and, and that we've noticed. We've had, we had Jim Moody at the uh, Desert Hazen game. We haven't seen Desert really shoot herself in the foot this year. That's something they've been real clean on. So that's a learning moment. It's a gut check moment for this team. Coaches will be into them, talking about it at halftime to keep their heads up and move forward. Let's see what they can do in this last. Oh, this game is far from over. Minute 37. Oh, yeah, definitely. Kickoff comes to Desart. Last thing, wall. 
now Desert going to have great field position. I was just about to say, last thing you want is to return. give up a big He's return. That's out. exactly what happened. Now Desert is on the short end of the field the here in line. their territory, and they've 15. got a chance to try to put one well, in. And just like that, they could have got the momentum right back. Yep, a couple, couple big plays here, and they're back in business. Minute 32 to go. It'll be first and 10 for Let's the see, uh, Eagles. If they can make a play in the passing line. game. Have we seen Desert complete one yet? I know we were a little scrambled earlier. I might, right. <laughs> I might have missed one, but um, I, I believe they haven't yet. So they might have to, being in a minute 32. I don't know if they can just line it up and run it unless we're they want to get a big break. Working on the 44-minute first half right here. Flanagan ducks behind his lead blocker, jumps, gets out to about the 50-yard line, pretty close. Actually going to be spotted with 49. 49. Cash. They're going to move quickly. That clock the is ticking. You, get, you got to take advantage of this field position here if you're Desart. You know, you go you go from you go from being, oh, we don't know if we want to do this, Ty. We might need to go ahead. Now he's dropping back. He's got a man, got a man. behind the defense. Oh, over That's Bill, and oh. it is just over Number him. Cash planning his pass. His eyes were as big as saucers on that one. Just got a little too amped up. That, you know, on that one. If you're short, it's okay a little bit, you know, yeah. just long as your guy gets it, even if they come back and tackle him. Oh, and Bell, if he but catches man, that one, that's that's sick. If he if he hit him a stride, yeah, I mean, it wasn't even close. We've got three timeouts left for Desark on our board. Is that correct, Nate? Okay, we're on top of that. Good job. Carlisle looks like they've used all of theirs. So Desark still has some chances to stop the clock here if they elect to run. Flanagan trying to turn it up field. There's Great the Carlisle defense. defense, and that's going to be fourth down Number as we come up on a minute Flanagan to play. Now, if you're Carlisle right now, do you, make, do you call a timeout here? They were actually discussing that right here on the sideline. You had, uh, I don't know if it was a defense coordinator or offense coordinator coming over talking to the head coach. And it looks like the head coach is saying, no, let's just let them, let them tick it out here. So now... Desark lined up there. They're going with the hard count here. 37 seconds to go. How much is on the play clock there? 24. You can basically run it down all the way to about 13 seconds here. Desark now looking at their wrist coaches. Gets under center, trying to hard count again. Handoff goes not up the middle. And he's got a, a back, backside pitch. Look at that. Will be Boyle. enough for a first down, but you've got 17 Number seconds to go here, now. So I know. What, what do you do here? Well, I'm telling you right now, that looked like it's fixed to be a 15, 20 yard gain. Boyle ran flat down the line and got to his man. That guy, for a junior, with the size he has, he's been impressive how he can go sideline to sideline. So we're just going to stay here with 16 seconds to go. Desart driving the ball now. Ball on about the 43-yard line. 16 seconds, like I said. 21-8 is the score. Carlisle with the advantage. Desart trying to make something happen here to get some points on the board. And like we said before, Desart gets the ball to start the second half. Yeah, I'll tell you I mean, what, halftime might be longer than this ball game, man. <laughs> I totally agree. It has been fast-paced. I mean, it, it's you, you, you were here last year when they yes. punched that ticket to state, taking down Mount Ida, and it was kind of similar to that, really fast-paced. Oh, now, absolutely. I was at Hazen that night doing, I believe that was the night they were playing Mark Tree, and uh, it might have been East Point State County, but I think it was Mark Tree that night. And, you know, it was it was quick. Yes, we were, we were done, completely packed up over there and got over here, and uh, y'all had been done for a long time. So 16 seconds to go. Desert now lining up, getting ready to uh, try to see if they can make something happen. you got to think Desert's got to be thinking. Big play here. Flanagan under center. Brings Bell in motion. Flanagan dropping pass. back to pass. They've got it sniffed out. Flanagan pulls it down, gets across the 40, Should down to about the 38-yard line. Seven. Seven Flying seconds to go. Pick We've got a timeout. Desark, that's the final timeout of the half. Pitchers. Five seconds to go timeout here. Eagles. So, really, you got one play if you're Desark. Yep. And if you're Carlisle right now, you just got to put some guys down on the, the goal line and basically say, no, no, you can't, uh, you can't get behind me here and knock this ball down. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you right now, the camera work that we've got going on now is a dream come true. Yeah, it really is. Thank <laughs> you, Mr. Moody, doing a great job on the sideline. And Aaron Powers, don't forget and, about AP. Oh, definitely not. He's always with us, and uh, we just kind of kind of forget about him sometimes because we just expect greatness from Mr. Powers. Uh, <clears throat> but I, what I'll say here, though, is 
This is that time that you, you got that one guy that don't really play, but he's on the team. He's a basketball player. He's 6'5". Right. This is his opportunity to come in right now. Hey, don't be a hero. Don't try to intercept it. Just bat it down and go to halftime. Now they got seven seconds back on the clock now. So, I mean, if you are Desark right here at seven seconds, you could hit a sideline pass here. But, I mean, that's more of a timing game. Do you have that in your arsenal? And, I, I mean, right now we haven't seen it. If you do that little run pass bootleg option, you just got to watch out for the guard. You don't want to trip yeah. over him, maybe stumble and fumble. Let me, let me ask you this. Does Desert have the <laughs> best-looking uniforms in the state of Arkansas? I love that old school. You're going to make some people mad. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Carlisle's right there with him. Definitely got that Eagles look. I, I think both of these uniforms are Max, nice. Max, he's under pressure. They've got him. He gets away. There's no time left. He's going to run it. No, he he's throwing it. He's hit. Pulls it down, he's hit. Ball falls harmlessly number to the turf. And that's going to bring us to half. Carlisle, the number eight team in 2A. Very, very Bison impressive first Eagles half for the Bison. Eight. Give us a few minutes, let us collect ourselves. We'll be back here in just a moment with more of the Arkansas Sports Network's Game of the Week. Here comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. one way that you can see a kid play and that's the that's the whole point of what we do is to allow kids to be seen through the arkansas sports network we don't do highlight tapes we do full games mm -hmm. and so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching up no i thought you guys matter of fact that's funny because for us for me like i couldn't get out and go to the state tournaments because yeah. we were playing and I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, thank you. To, to watch and the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just watching, we got to watch his games through the state tournament and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate Glad it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about it. On this front line. Rodriguez, he's going to sit up. Manny Smith, he goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up. Welch, was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, though. Oh, there's a miscommunication. Rolling out the pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desark, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the biggest thing in high school sports, and we're proud to be a sponsor. Back here on the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week, we've got a heck of a ball game here. Two A top ten members, uh, the Carlisle Bison leading the Desert Eagles twenty one to eight. We got a couple Desert folks up here. I don't know how happy they are right now about 
what's going on in the field. Not to say that we're going to criticize anybody, but we know that uh, y'all are Desert through and through. I know that for sure. So 100%. We got, I know it. We got, Dar we got Darisol. We got Randy Pickerel here from D3 Auto Sales. Uh, well, part, and we got also we got Alan Russell up here as well. He was the uh, uh, co-founder. Well, I say he's the founder of 42 Sports and, and uh, co-founder here of the Arkansas Sports Network High School page. So talk to me a little bit, guys, about uh, – what you're seeing on the field so far. And they're killing us on the line. Their line plays. That's the difference in the game right now. We can't stop nothing. They're right. pushing us around like we ain't there. Well, I don't know how they only scored seven points last week, seven nothing, and, uh, you know, they're, they're doing whatever they want to right now to Desarc's defense. Well, you know, Cross County, I know, apparently picked up several win transfers. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and so that – I'm sure – that that has something to do with how good they are up there. But, but their defense, team. like, why, why did they get blanked? Why did no. Cross County get blanked, uh, you know? Because, I mean, we're moving the ball. We had one blunder right. down here at the goal line, but we get the ball back in the second half. It's an even, even game, yeah. you know? We were trying to do too much there yeah. at the end, but we score there if we have an even possession. I'm with you. I, we, we actually were talking about that right there. Third and about 19 on yeah. that play. Well, you should have scored with that pass yeah. play. We just yeah. overthrew oh, that yeah, just a little absolutely. bit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Alan, tell us a little bit. You you have known Randy for quite a while. Tell us about the relationship you have with Randy. Yeah, we go way back. Fearless Friday days. We, got, we Friday. had some classes on there. Randy's a good dude, man. And uh, just Dare's a good guy. So everybody just needs to get out to D, uh, D3 Auto, D3 auto, auto sales, sales. Absolutely. Get them a car, man. Uh, you guys, um, y'all are a great supporter of us. We cannot say how much we thank you for that. You have been a huge help to us. But I'll tell you, the, the Disney giveaway – was something. Yeah, that was awesome. Now tell us a little bit. Did has she went yet? Uh, it's the twenty fifth. She's actually going to pick up a like a rental car from us on the twenty third. That's like next Friday, I think. And then she's going to share some pictures and stuff with us. So that's that's going to be pretty cool. What what gave you the idea to do that? I just want to do some bless somebody. You know, we've been really you know really blessed the last three years, and we just wanted to bless somebody and you know be able to have, give them the opportunity. Right now, just money's tight for everybody. You know. And so people are skipping vacations. It just it just seemed like a really cool thing to do, you yeah. know. Yeah. And and you also do the uh, pay the note for the month for a car. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Anything we can do. Yeah. Yeah, we did that today. But let me tell you something about us. Is right here. This is this is D three. We're all about community. You know, you go to a big box store. You go to those big guys, and they're not right here. Like we support. Like the quarterback for Desark, he works for us. You know, his brother works for us, and everybody in the town. Like we got we got people at the band we support. We got people. You know, all over the town that that we support and we love, and that's what that's what local high school football, yes. local business is all about. You know, Friday night, Absolutely. Friday night lights. If we you come down it. and give Mr. King the trophy last year. That that's, was pretty cool. That, just being that, in Prairie County. I mean, too bad he didn't go to school at Desert. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Yeah, Mr. King has joined us here as yeah, well. We'd well, have a trophy at, at our place if he did. <laughs> <laughs> what well, you know? I mean, hey, listen, that that award last year that he won. That wasn't just voted on by us. We had guys like Randy Rainwater, Richard Davenport, all right. across the state of Arkansas, and they chose Luke. You know that wasn't a that wasn't a thing that we set up or anything. It was I did not manipulate the vote one bit. So it's well deserved. Well yeah, deserved. Yeah, he's one of the best quarterbacks yeah. I've seen play. Yeah. Like yeah, absolutely. In a long, long time. Good so, young man too. Uh, absolutely. So tell us a little bit what's what's coming up. You guys got anything coming up for you? You know, you know the, the market's changing all the time. So. We're just trying to stay ahead of the market and be, uh, you know, we're trying to give the customer the best deal. We sold 106 cars last month. That was number one in the state of Arkansas for an independent dealer. We were 14th in the whole state in used auto. All of those guys ahead of us, you know, the McClarties, the, the Red Rivers, the Cranes, all those other guys ahead of us were franchise evening, stores. We were right there hanging in with the them, you know, the in Desert, Desert Arkansas. Oh, that's right. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But we're getting people from all over the state. Yeah. I mean, the average person probably drives at least an hour to get well, to us. I hope that we have a little part of that. Well, we have gotten at least one person here lately that said, absolutely. you know, I mean, for a fact. Well, we're going to continue to push that because you guys are great to us. You're not just great to us. You're great to the folks here in the state of Arkansas, state of because, Arkansas yes, sir. because we can't do this stuff without people like D3. And and I'll tell you right now, I need to find about four or five more <laughs> D3 right. auto sales. That's right. That's right. Not, not necessarily auto sales, but <laughs> D3 hospitals. D, you know right. what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> we, we, we definitely need it. But listen, guys, we appreciate you guys so much for what you do for us. And we're, we're, uh, we're getting ready to kick that MVP in high gear again. We're about to cut the list down about mid-season. So I, t I tell everybody, you guys are the next 
next, I don't want to say this word, but it's, it's like a dirty word, but I, I tell everybody you guys are the next Hootens, so they better oh, watch out for you. Oh, come you know? on. I mean, you I think you're above Hootens as it uh -oh. is. But. You, got, you guys, uh -oh. are, the, you guys well, are the next. I mean, I'm ready to see the magazine. Well, it's coming. It's right, coming. I'm ready to see the magazine. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> it, we appreciate what y'all do for uh, local sports as well. You. I mean, nobody's doing this, yeah. uh, you know, well, every week. Man, we love it. I, I, I can't, I can't, even, I can't even say anything about it, but we love it. We do. And it is a labor of love, all these guys. I mean, we got seven guys here tonight to run this game. That's when I was coming up the stairs. Yeah. I'm like, crap, man, you got to <laughs> hold on. I'm telling you. Well, listen, we appreciate you all so much and uh, look forward to uh, working with you guys in the future. Absolutely, Brad. Hey, right. I enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you, Brad. guys. Thank you. Alan. Yes, yes, sir. Randy. Thank you, sir. Dare Saul, Dare. Randy Pickerel of uh, D3 Auto Sales joining us here at the half. It's 21-8. to 8. Carlisle with the lead. Desert gets the ball in the second half. we still got a great game here on the Arkansas Sports Network's See Game of the Week. Hang in here with us. We'll be back in a moment. Go Eagles. We see you. Your incredible potential and willpower set you apart. You're first to take that leap of faith. First to get to work. First to solve the problem. No burden should be carried alone. We'll be there. Every step, day, challenge. First is your destiny. We get it because first is who we are. We're back here, and uh, we've got another guest up here, the MVP of uh, last year's D3 Auto Sales MVP Award, uh, Luke King. We do appreciate you joining us here, Luke. Uh, let's get caught up with you a little bit. This is your first year out of football. Yes, What's sir. that been like for you? Uh, very weird. I will say, you know, going going back, you know, and watching Hazen play my hometown, uh, you know, I miss it. I miss it a lot being out there, you know. Uh, Older people that are graduating and stuff, you know, they always tell me, you know, you're going to miss it. It flies by. And I, you don't really realize that when you're playing. But now uh, that it's over with, man, it's like, man, look at the time, how, how it flew by. Yes, well, well, think about that. You, you started 10th grade really about three years ago. And you moved up and played senior high football at that point, And you got about – 35 games and that's it yes, and it's sir. over you're right um but uh you you had a chance to play some college football but you decided to pass on that right yes sir uh, i felt i prayed about it uh, it was a very tough decision um the college is offered me which i was very thankful for what they did they, they you know they wanted me to play defense side of the ball and i i just decided i didn't really want to do that my heart wasn't there so you know my heart wasn't there i wasn't going to be able to give it my all and I, it wouldn't be fair to them or uh, the, the school, so I decided not to. So I'm just going to school right now and I'm working. So, so what what are the plans for you moving forward? Um, right now, just plan on uh, continuing to go to school and uh, wanting to. Right now, I want to be a dentist, so try to finish out college and, and try to get into dental school somewhere. Yeah. So, Alan, you got anything, bud? Yeah, the college is messed up not making this guy a quarterback, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, he's best, better than anything they got at Arkansas well, State, in my opinion. You know, I mean, really, when you come down to it here, you got our guy that, that people voted on as the MVP of the state. Now, he was a 2A player, but that was a statewide award there uh, throughout the state. We had, t we had players in, in several classifications. This year it's gotten even bigger. He, Luke would be in that Jaquist uh, Dancy category yeah. of guys that just – separated themselves from every, the pack. I mean, he was obviously the best player in 2A last year. He, he, he absolutely was a fantastic player. And uh, I'll tell you what, we had a lot of fun being part of what you guys did last year. Um, we had, uh, you know, we had you guys last year for this Desert game. We also had you for um, the two playoff games there, the second and third round. I know Duran Miller went over to Hazen along with Aaron. Yeah, there you go. And uh, that that was a uh, that was good wins for you guys, and you yes, guys sir. went on. You won the state championship. What was it like playing at War Memorial Stadium, finishing off what was a dream season for the Hazen Hornets? Man, it it's a dream come true. It's something you know I've never experienced before. A lot of people you know don't get to experience that, but just the atmosphere. Uh, you know, we got to play Carlisle. It's two hometown rival. It's a big hometown rivalry. And um, just it was packed, you know, it was loud in there. The stadium was enclosed, and, uh, you know, it, it was amazing. I, and now the I wouldn't trade it for the world. So. The pride well, of Luke, County, we appreciate you joining Clergy, us here on the halftime of the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week. Oh, give us a little bit of, of update. 
What's Hazen like this year? Um, the band is under they, of David Yarbrough. I think they'll be pretty good. Yarbrough you know, they got they have a few injuries, a few things they got to work out. Um, but Dragon. you know, if they continue on, Her you know, just doing what they can know, what I know they can do, they'll they'll be fine. They'll they'll work it out. Two A Two A seems a little bit wide open this year. Um, but, uh, you know, I think Hazen is in the mix. I think this Desert team is in the mix. I think that this Carlisle team is in the mix as well. You know, last week uh, Carlisle went to Cross County, won 7-0. to zero. I mean, that wow. was a slobber knocker, right? Yes, sir. And, you know, a lot of people, I'm not sure they expected Carlisle to be this good without Jason Sullivan. Yes, sir. That kid was a man. He was unbelievable. We were up here uh, when they played against Earl, I believe, Officially, they had him down for 366. We actually had him for 389 that night. Wow. And, uh, I mean, he he was unbelievable. And, uh, man, it, it was a lot of fun to watch that one. And it was a lot of fun to watch you guys kind of going and, and collide. And, of course, you got a chance to play in the state championship. So, anyway, appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate Allen. Yes, sir. Thank you we all. we got Gavin Guy up here. I don't know if you can see him or not. Gavin's in here. We, we got a crew here tonight. We got Jim Moody down on the field. He's he's shooting some shots for us. We got a little bit of everything. Well, we're going to go take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have a little bit more of your Arkansas Sports Network game of the week. 21-8 is the score here. Carlisle with the lead, and uh, I still expect to be a really good game in the second half. We'll be back here with more Arkansas Sports Network game of the week right after this. Great Depression, nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot, because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. So hot, you're gonna think my prices look like a mirage. Wrong. The prices on these trucks are the lowest prices ever. My trucks look different. Drink plenty of water and wipe your eyes. You're not gonna believe these prices. Go to D3 Auto Sales on Facebook right now. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Everyone tells you to think about the future. But there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. County, All right, we're back so, here. At, go ahead. Go we're ahead. back here at uh, Carlisle. Got some uh, scoring updates from around the state. Get, get you to some of those real quick. Uh, Shiloh Christian. Let me see. I got some actually updated here later. Little Rock Catholic. Let's start there. 14-7 over Benton early in that one. Hope 14 nothing over Prescott. 20 to 13 at Harding Academy over Boonville. That was first quarter action. Mm. And I have got an update. Well, ladies Second and quarter, at this time, we'd like to Lincoln, our FFA Christian, and Oklahoma team. over Shallow, 20 to 7. Members are good Hayden team Parker, over there. Now we got Gavin Nina Guy Catherine in here. Brown, Gavin uh, spent some English, time at Harrisburg. Parker, he spent some time Eaton, at Truman. Uh, he's, uh, he was on the Arkansas State roster. So, Gavin, 
Uh, you're, you're working with us here on the Arkansas Sports Network High School side of things. I'm glad you're here today. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I appreciate the opportunity very much. Uh, you know, uh, right now I'm still on the roster up at Arkansas State. Uh, I, I, I've been moving back and forth from linebacker and running back, you know, still trying to find my way. Uh, going into high school and stuff uh, over at Harrisburg and Truman. Uh, you know, I saw a lot of the 4A ball over there tonight. is actually my first time being in Desert. So, you know, seeing this 2A side of ball and everything, you know, it's real chippy and real competitive over here. Uh, you know, these players don't get enough credit over here on the 2A level, uh, really. Because, I mean, this is some of the best triple option uh, work I've seen, you know, coming to a high school football game. And, you know, just the line on both sides is superb. I'll tell you right now, that Carlisle line looks really good tonight. Let me get this in real quick. Carlisle, we've got some supporters for Carlisle. We've got Anderson Striping. We've got Nathan Campbell Heating and Air, Grand Prairie Electric, Bank of England, Show We've got members. Riceland Foods and the Golden Family Investments along with Shelter Insurance, Victor Side and Schwartz. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, guys, we can't do this without you guys. We appreciate you guys. You you are uh, definitely one of the reasons why that we really enjoy coming to, to Carlisle because you guys support us so well. Desark, you're not out of there either. You do. You guys do a good job as well. Proudly supporting the Desark Eagles are the Farmers and Merchants Bank, Buddy Childress Pest Control, Shelter Insurance, Jason Jones, Harvey's Garage, Desark Auto and Ag. They do proudly support the Desark Eagles and the Lily Pad Boutique. And we'll be mentioning them throughout the rest of this time. Gavin, you're, you're here. It's been a slobber knocker, like we said. 21-8 uh, is your score here. What have you seen so far in this one, and what do you expect here in the second half? You know, uh, when it comes to clock management, both teams are trying to make sure to run that ball and make it such a, a – what, what would you call it? You know, um, they're just trying to make it such a point to make sure that the clock keeps running. Right. You know, Short both. Are, yes, sir. And, you know, they're both trying to keep that ball and keep it in their possession. Um, you know, they're doing a, a great job running the ball on both sides. Desarc's trying to get that pass uh, that pass game going and everything. Um, I, I've just seen both uh, good football all the way around. You know, uh, it, I think it's going to be a lot more competitive coming into the second half. You know, Carlisle is on fire tonight. They're uh, – you know, we're at home, so, I mean, like, you know, they got the home field advantage, and, yeah. you know, they're, they're they're ready to play tonight. And, I mean, Desarc is uh, – they got their people behind them too. So, I mean, this has just been such a such a good game so far, and I just can't wait to see what what keeps progressing in the second half. If you look behind these guys here, you can see them on camera. You got people standing on the track. You look around here on the other side of the, the, the track, you got more over here. Now you've got some down here on the Carlisle side as well. And this is what high school football Friday night's all about, guys. I mean – you know, you, you're filling the stands up. You're not just filling the stands up. You're around the track now. But that's what you would expect when you're talking about a top ten matchup among two A teams. Carlisle come into this game two and one. They lost to Junction City 34-28. Junction City's really pulling themselves and showing themselves to be a pretty good team. And three A kind of bouncing back after all of all of the stuff that they've kind of been through down there. And of course, Junction City they've got athletes everywhere. You know what I mean. So they really got something good going down there at Junction City. Carlisle makes the state championship game last year. I'm not sure that a lot of people expected them to uh, be back again as strong as they are, but they look just as strong as they were last year. Yes, sir. And, you know, coming off of that last game that Carlisle played, I mean, it was a defensive game. I mean, they, they won by seven, I think it was 7-0 and against uh, Cross County. You know, Cross County, they had a lot of transfers come over from uh, win, which is, you know, 5A football. I mean, uh, you know, the – the tornadoes that happened over there and win, it caused a lot of people to transfer and all that type of deal. But uh, Carlisle showed very tough foot, or very tough defensive football that game. Uh, you know, uh, me and Allen actually was in uh, Walnut Ridge uh, versus EPC that night. But, you know, Carlisle and Cross County, uh, that was one game that we kept hearing about all around the state. And, you know, tonight they're proving again, you know, that they're, they're ready to go. They're a good football team. Well, Gavin, right. we appreciate you joining us here on the broadcast. We're going to go to a small break. We're going to come back. We've got uh, Carlisle Desert second half action coming right at you. Awesome, man. Mm. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but we know there's growth in the journey. At ATU, we value this moment because here, Nature becomes your classroom. So breathe it in. 
You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now, because our focus is on your success. Well, we're back here on the game of the week. We're getting ready for third quarter action. Desark looking to try to close this lead that Carlisle has has had. And, of course, Duran, the key play of the, the uh, first half, was the fumble recovery scoop and score, as we in unison said. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> scoop and score ended up being uh, enough to uh, give Carlisle a two-score advantage. But Desark does get the football. Mr. Gabe Boyle really impressed me tonight so far. Uh, got on that scoop and score, got in the end zone, if I remember correctly, yep. number 44. Did you push the scoop and score button? We have a scoop and score <laughs> button, Mr. Nate. Mr. Nate, Nate just it, looks at just me his like. fourth game. Fourth he's like, game is producer. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> you know, I'm not the wizard. That's what he said. <laughs> Bill knows all about that. But Beginning of anyway, I do have a, a, a scoring update. Number two, this is a big one. Parkview over North Little Rock 31-14 at the moment. Parkview Brown. right now. The Arkansas Democrat Gazette has them number one overall. We would have them number two. Is right Walnut now. Ridge playing Hoxie? Walnut Ridge they're is 14 nothing right now. Walnut Ridge is playing. No, they're playing um, Salem. That okay. Walnut Ridge is in a lead. 14 nothing is what I was told okay. at halftime. Walnut Ridge really uh, showing out. I believe Salem's our number three team in 3A, and uh, Walnut Ridge our number eight team in. Uh, 3A, okay. and so anyway, so that's uh, that's a big one up there in northeast two, Arkansas Preston over Parker. here in the plains of eastern First Arkansas. Two, we're we're here and uh, we're excited. Again, we we talk about our local sponsors, but we also got to thank D3 Auto Sales, Arkansas Tech University, and Tyson. Heirloom Legal, and Tyson. That's right. Don't leave them out. And razor polishes. Well. That's right. So here we go. Desart trying to to claw their way back. Handoff goes that's up nice the middle. Play. That's a good little energy burst to start out, Number getting out to the third, Gabe. the fifty-yard line Gabe. there. That's Gabe Barry. Now Gabe Barry, I, I would assume, is probably kin to Gabby Barry. Down. Gabby Barry was one of our D3 Arkansas basketball three. finalists. So Gabe and Gabby, come on, gotta be right, right. Put two and two together, brother. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe not. Maybe they, they made me foolish. I don't know. Don't call me brother. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not your brother. <laughs> brother from another mother. Here yeah. we go. Handoff goes up the middle of the berry. He bounces off a tackler, would be tackler, and, and we got a flag coming in from the Number side judge. The now, that was a tackle from around the, the head, so you got to think that they're the talking face mask right seven, there, which you would think is probably going to be enough for first down. We'll see what the call is here. It's that five yard or 15 yard variety. <clears throat> uh, if, you, if you're not uh, familiar with us, yeah, they did call device. it a face mask. It's going to be enough for a first down. Oh, yeah, if you're not sure. familiar with us, we all uh, we will have overtime Arkansas, and uh, we're we're probably going to move this thing down to the field tonight and uh, have it. So uh, you know, you're, if you're part of the winning team tonight, you can be a part of the show. And you know, there's always a lot of talk about mosquitoes when you come over this side of the country, but. It, it, may be the uh, it may be the state bird in yeah. this side of Arkansas, but I haven't seen one tonight, so knock yeah. on wood. Flanagan gets up the middle. Oh, he's just tripped up, dives out to the 35-yard line, Flanagan and that's going to get out about eight yards, about and that's going to be close. This is a but great, not, not enough. Great early first drive here for the Desert Eagles. Exactly what they needed. They're still moving the ball, second and short. Desark uh, team that uh, beat Hazen already this year, 36-34 in overtime. What a game that was. Our own Jim Moody was down there. Got a great shot right there, just Jim. Flanagan turns it up, jumps over a would-be tackler, gets across the 30, down to about the 27-yard line. Great shot by Moody. Six or seven Man, what about the compliments we were getting from the D3 guys there? I was off the headset at that well, point. I first actually first was the one that got him on film a couple nice. times. They yeah. didn't even know they were on film, I don't think. Darren didn't, yeah. for sure. Well, but wait, uh, what, what what all did they say about uh, us? Well, they, they said that we were the next something. I can't say the name out there because if I do, I might get in trouble. But uh, We might get flagged. <laughs> 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 we have to get prior approval for uh, saying those types of things. Well, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they want us to say their names anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Barry. D3 auto seal. That's oh, another uh -oh. fumble, and it's a oh. oh. And How Flanagan, did he get it back? Flanagan got it back. That might have saved the game right there. Honestly, I mean, 
a great drive like this, that would have been a, a backbreaker. Well, considering, that ball squirted out. 18 was all over. Considering how Carlisle has moved the ball down the field this game, for them to fumble and lose it again, Carlisle has just been so methodical all game long. Those are just as methodical as they are. The ball, the clock is moving so quickly. We're already down to 924 right now. Desart's got to find a way to get the ball in the end zone right here. Yeah, and I know number 18 for Carlisle, Dylan White, he's going to be kicking himself over that one. Had a chance. Yep. But here's a good defensive stand. For little well, or no game. I know Desart really expecting Farm. to get this run game going, but boy, Carlisle up front up is really pushing them around right 16. now. They, they had a couple plays early, but since then they've really set up the edge, it's and it's basically been run. Flanagan or nothing the last two or three drives. Um, you know, they, they've done pretty well with the misdirection. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple plays there to, uh, I believe it was number 12, Walker <laughs> Harris. I'd really like to see Desert kind of pick up the pace on getting downhill, kind of hitting that hole quick, you know, little quick hitters, a little misdirection, get some more die plays going. This time they're going to roll out on third and long. Flanagan looking for somebody. He's got nobody. He pulls it down, cuts across nice the field. Play. Not Good, be big tackle there. And I'll tell you what, if he gets through that tackle right there, he might have scored. Ball on the 23, 24 the yard line now. Desarc's got to go for this one. Yep. Gets up to about fourth and seven six. now. Yep, seven. Fourth and six, fourth, fourth and seven. Six. <laughs> so here we go. Coming up on eight minutes to go, fourth and six. Desarc needing something good to happen right here. This is huge. I'm telling you, if Carlisle can get a stop here, the ball is in their court to hold, possibly hold on to this game here and get this big upset at home. Seven. Which, if you ask the Carlisle fans, they don't they don't feel like it's an upset. No, for sure, for sure. Flanagan under center. And that they were blitzing. They come across. Oh, oh they got it red. We got a yep, flag. Got a holding see. as well. What do we got here? So we got lots of yellow on the field. He, he missed that hole that time. He went outside that block, and he really, if he would cut it, got vertical there, he would have had it. But they're going to get a holding on it as well. I, Desart, I think Desart knows what it is. Turnover on downs is what it's going to be. Yeah, they're going to decline that. And that's going to be, it, it looks like a first down for Carlisle, and right now is holding against the Eagles. big, big time defensive for, for, for Desart right now. You got to find hey, a way. I'll tell you what, right now, Mr. 18, Dylan White, was the man that made that play. He said, hey, I didn't get the fumble, but I, he makes a huge play on fourth down, a steal a turnover on downs. And he just was the as, man being held. Just as said, you you didn't feel any mosquitoes. I got one on my leg. I, I did feel that one, too. I think the same <laughs> one got me. So we may be brothers after right. all. <laughs> Blood brothers, right? <laughs> 7.32 to go. 21-8 is your score. Thank you for joining us here on the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week. I hadn't even been able to look at the numbers, see how we're doing tonight. It's just been something. little pot pass. Uh -oh. I'll tell you right now, this kid is electric. Yeah, he's he is. behind the defense. He's at the 40. One man the 30. Beat. Davion Bell going to run him down. Number but nine. I'll tell you right now, nine. unbelievable. Nine. By Gavin Davis, he has been such a weapon for the Carlisle Bikes. He is electric when he gets the ball in his hands in space. Great pass, hit the, hit him right in stride. This is going to be a flag late, kind of on the on the run after the catch, on the yak. Uh, so see if, yeah, they're going to back him up. They know it's coming. So it's still it going to be a first down. Yeah, it, it's just not going to be at the 27. 38-14. Parkview on top of Little Rock, North Little Rock. They've Park extended view, that lead. Parkview, y'all. Parkview. We, we got They're them next real. week. We got them next week. Yes, sir. That's another Little, game in a week. Little Rock on Thursday. And they do. They call it. Looks like a hold. Hold is blocking the back. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I've read that wrong. It is a block in the back. So, block in the back is going to back it up from the spot of the foul, which is the 45-yard line. So, it's going to back them back into so uh, the Bison territory there. I think it's a 10 yarder, isn't it? Blocking the back. Yeah, 10 yard variety there, I believe. So, to still have a first down at the 45 of Carlisle. That is a 10 yard spot foul. Puts the ball back to the 45 yard line. Yeah, it's going to be a first down. But the result it, of just, that play is still good lost. for Carlisle Bison. You lost quite a bit of yardage there. First and 10 for the and Bison. If you're Desarc right there, line. you've got to find a, the break. Wherever the break is, you've got to take it. And right yeah. now, that might be it. That was about a 25-yard uh, loss there off of that penalty. He was up at about the 30 where he got knocked out. 
Carlisle. Shotgun. One, two back formation, H back in the backfield. Oh, great blocking right there by the uh, left guard and the left tackle. Look at that. Look at that. What a job there by Caleb Elliott. Fun, no, finding no, his block no, 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 and just riding no, the butt no, of his no, guard. No, you no, called no, it. You saw the block there. We've got another flag now. The there is a penalty flag on the play. Yeah, well, what, what happened was Desert had eight men close to the line, and they ran a little blitz, a little run blitz, and they ate it up. The left tackle and left guard ate it up, and the H-back was right there behind them. And, man, that was fun to see. If you like smash mouth football, yeah. That's the play you like watching right there. So now Carlisle going to get all that yardage back, pretty close to it anyway after this penalty. And we got a face mask, face mask five yard variety. It's going to be right out to the 40 yard line. 41 yard line. Result of that play is good for another Carlisle Bison. And that, I mean, they're just going to spot it Bison outside the 40 here. 702 remaining here in the third. It's a left tackle. Jackson Cunningham was the main man leading that attack, but there was a host of uh, bison. A host of bison. They were getting it done. A herd of bison is what we should say, right? Right. A, a thundering herd of bison. So Carlisle now, three wide receivers to the, the right, one to the left. They run a little bubble screen. Got a blocker out in front. Carlisle doing a great job of hitting their blocks. That's going to be real close to a first down. On the receiving number end of that was number seven, Lawson Petrus. So result great. of that play is good for another Carlisle by a and, and give credit to First and ten at the third Bentley yard Park, line of the or, I'm sorry, uh, Holden Jones, the quarterback. That was a low snap. He caught that yep. thing, used good hands there and able to still keep his poise and make you a know, play. Again, compliments to the Carlisle coaching staff and the offense because last year's offense was a pretty much dead T, wing mm -hmm. T type of offense. They were very heavy on Jason Sullivan. There's a lot more weapons on this Carlisle team, and they're getting the ball to a lot of them. I, I mean, obviously the – let you call this play first. Well, it's a loss. That's right, what it is. Good job. Swarming Number to the seven, ball. Right. The Desert Eagles. That's all. What I was going to say is, though, no the, the I know it's the uniforms that kind of make it, but yeah. this new offense they're running kind of – kind of spread you out to run, and they're also passing out of it. Brings up second Makes me think of Charleston a lot, to be honest with you. You know, it's very similar to some of the things they do. That Them black and gold jerseys with that uh, bison on the helmet reminds me of them Colorado Buffaloes right oh, yeah. now and what Let's they're doing. Let's not talk about Dion. <laughs> you either love him or you hate him, right? Uh, you know, He's I, doing some work, though. I mean, it, it's been impressive. You know, he interviewed at Arkansas when they hired Pittman. I heard that. I don't know. Was that ever confirmed? It was confirmed. <laughs> You know, he gives all the credit to Colorado's AD yeah. for why he goes there, went there. Well, they, they took a chance. Hand off. Oh, oh well, they got a, they had a play action fake there and had Number the guy nine, out in the flat. In what do we play? got going on out well, here? Well, you had a wedge block, and they they kept blocking and maybe a hair after the whistle. The but uh, Carlisle's getting after it right Of course, now. that was a forward pass, but it was behind the line of scrimmage. You can do that. You st if you throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage, you can block out front. Mm -hmm. You can't do that if you throw it past the line of scrimmage. So would have been an ineligible man downfield other than that. But I'll tell you right now, you're doing a good job of, of spotting the offensive line. And so we're giving a lot of credit right now to the big uglies for Watch. Carlisle. And we've got jumping offside there. Penalty flags on the play. That's going to get us. against the Eagles. Be a five-yard step off. Brings up third and five. So, you know, when, when Carlisle is in that uh, long situation, they've been really good tonight with the hard count. Yeah, they really have and works to their advantage that time. Desert's got to be more uh, disciplined there on defense. And they really need to stop on this drive. If they get down, you know, we're, under, we're at the 506 mark. If, if Carlisle goes down and scores a touchdown here, they're going to be down about 22 points, and they don't need that to happen. H-back goes in motion off to the left-hand side. Handoff goes up the middle. Ball's oh, on the ground. And it uh, looks like Carlisle has it. I'm telling it. you, man, it's, it's seemed to be that way all night. Carlisle able to Number somehow four, get the that bounces, ball back. Yeah, the bounces are going their way right now. Sometimes you need that. You Runs need that if you're – about two. If you fourth are – right, well, whoever you are, and right now the ball isn't bouncing the Eagles' way. The Eagles they got a chance right here on fourth and about two, long two, short three. They got a chance to get off the field. So the game might depend on it right here. This is a big moment. Who wants it more right now? Let's watch the line play. 
Big play for the Desert Eagles. They need something to happen. Now Good job by Desert. the quarterback, Holden Jones. Holden Jones checking with the coaches. Now they're going to take a timeout. We'll take a quick one with them. Four minutes and 16 timeout, seconds Bison. left here in the third quarter of action. 21-8 is your score. Carlisle with the lead. We'll be back in just a moment. Here comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Duran, you got some shout-outs for us. Yeah, um, Laurel's. Always in, in the chat, she says, uh, Desert definitely looks decent. Uh, or DA, I think that's who she's talking about, Desert there. She says, Mactown leads Hazen 28-12. Oh, wow. Now, Hazen 18, McCrory 0. And here we go. Let's get to this fourth and about uh, three. And we got uh, the Wildcat. Gavin Davis in the backfield. Like you said, running the Wildcat. Look how Look quick he is. But Desart is all over it. Now we got a flag coming in. What's that going to be? Number six, Gavin Davis. Is that number two coming flying in? Yes, it there was. There is a building flag on the play. Maybe on Bell. Bell. He shot through there like a cannon on that one. So big big flag, though. I mean, if this is on Desart, this is going to be enough for first down. Looks like it's, they're happy, yeah. though. Call is holding so, against the Bison. So that's a big play right there Eagles for the Eagles. Keep this thing close. Eagles. If, if you're Desark, you're trying to keep this thing close. And uh, right now you did a good job of it, 21-8. This is the pivotal drive, though. This is the one. Desark's yeah, got to put it they in. they got to put one in the end zone. they got to suck it up and put it in the end zone, Mox, right here. So, again, we'd like to remind <laughs> you that uh, we will have overtime Arkansas tonight. Uh, we're going to try to move it down to the field. So, uh, quarterback keep. He's got some Flynn again gets a first down. He picks up a load right there. That's a long Number way. Seven. About a 20 yarder. Yeah, it is. It's about exactly what it is. Yards on the play. Tackle made by number two, <laughs> Preston Parker. 405 remaining now. Flanagan picked up uh, about 20 on the play. Looked like actually about 22 after they uh, after they got him down on the ground. So Flanagan looking at the sideline now. Desark, I like. I'm kind of with you, Duran. I feel like you got to see a little bit more sense of urgency here if you are the Eagles or an Eagle fan. Yeah, I, I, you can't be waiting until there's three on the play clock, that's for sure. That's Number it. Seven, the cash on the you need to be getting that thing off a 15-second mark if you can. No gain on the play. I don't feel like that Desark has been able to overcome the fumble and the Luke scoop Petrus. and score. The momentum has continued to be on the right. side of Carlisle. they got to bust through. they got to make a big play to kind of get that and, back. And, I you know, they you had Davion Bell behind the defense there. Would have been a touchdown yes. and probably would have broke that momentum. But uh, – Right now it is uh, – right now Carlisle still got it. Handoff goes up the middle to Barry. Barry dragging the pile. He's moving it, and it's going to stop at about the 48-yard line there. Gabe, yeah, and, and I feel like Desert don't need five, to be afraid to maybe run that play. same play again. Get a guy up to seam, a vertical, and, uh, you know, kind of surprise him on a first or second down when everybody in the stadium thinks right. it's going to be a run. And Because uh, he was Runs wide up open. Third down and, and about – Three. Give yourself another opportunity to maybe get behind the defense. Get Tell you a what, score. I like the look of these Carlisle athletes that they've got on the outside here. Uh, I mean, you've got number 18. Um, that is Dylan White, as you said. Isaiah Powell, he's a good-looking athlete out there on the corner. They've got some good-looking guys out there. And then I like the look of the big linebacker, Gabe Boyle. Handoff goes no. Nope. it. Yep, pulls it. Got enough for a first down. Good read Number there seven. by Flanagan. Flanagan on the read all the way there. Flanagan the showing the senior four, quarterback for the senior activity there. He pulls it. He gets first down. But first we got a man on the ground, the which is number Eagles. 51 for Desart. Which has been, is it Kearney? Kirby? Kirby. Kirby. Okay. Or Kirby, Kirby or Kirby. I'm let's, -E let's, take, let's take a quick break. We'll, we'll be back in a moment. 228 left here in the first or the third quarter of action. We'll be back in just a moment. It's so hot, you're going to think my prices look like a mirage. Wrong. The prices on these trucks are the lowest prices ever. My trucks look different. Drink plenty of water and wipe your eyes. You're not going to believe these prices. Go to D3 Auto Sales on Facebook right now. That'll 
Got a scoring update as we get back here. Scoring update, 21 nothing win over Magnolia at halftime. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, win is. struggled out of the game. Of course, they played Fort Smith Southside. Fort Smith Southside's pretty good this year, not too bad. And uh, so, you know, getting a chance to play a 5A team, that probably helps their cause just a little bit. Yeah, anytime you're up 21 nothing over Magnolia, that's impressive because they always have some good athletes. Magnolia's a good team. All right, so Desark has the ball first down and 10. Ball on their 44-yard uh, line. Coming out of the timeout, they're looking at the sideline now, waiting on the play call. 21 down at the bottom here. Number 21 is uh, Hayden Brown. He kind of looked like he didn't really know what the call was. Bell gets it. He cuts back. He's got one man to beat. He's behind the defense. Oh, my goodness. What again. a saving big a, time play there. And that's Dylan, Dylan White. Dylan White. Dylan White. Dylan White. Like, again, I'm telling you, Carlisle two, has some guys this year. It's a little different than the, what they've had in the, the past. They have Tackle more eight, players Dylan on the field White. than they did last year as far as just skill position, quick guys. Saved a touchdown the right there. The but uh, Desarc's cooking right now. Ball on the 15-yard line now. It's a drive they had to have and great, great. Vision that time for Bell to bust through there. And Boy, he had a burst, yards. did he not? My goodness. That's the fastest guy we've seen from Desert in quite a bit. I mean, he looked really impressive on that run out in the open field. Flanagan gets up the field, and he Woo! was power running. Boy, he was met, though, in the hole yeah. there. Somehow he fell forward, though. Number seven, Cash. Kind of stopped for a right. second and then fell back forward. Give him credit. I believe. I, I'm trying to test in these. You got 65 is who got the tackle, play. which is Petrus. So... But, boy, I tell you, I felt like I saw maybe uh, Caleb Rouser as well on that one. Got a few Facebook comments. We've got over 142 live devices on Facebook alone. Last I checked, over 110 live devices on YouTube. So we're, we're getting around that 250 mark live devices. And appreciate we really appreciate it. Flanagan goes to the left-hand side, gets up in the hole, and he's tripped up. Number and, seven, you know, Flanagan, it, it just keeper. really, really good at falling yep. forward. Quarterback keep. He's a big body and uh, just kind of takes his time. Good you know, shot, he, he doesn't Jim try Moody. To, Look at that. Yeah, it's really good right there. Yeah, that beautiful shot. Right on the play. I know old Bill likes that. you gotta, you got to think old Bill up there in Pea Ridge likes that one pretty good. Oh, yeah. Definitely. 22 seconds to go. If you're Desarc right now, you I feel like you need to try to put this in before the quarter. Go into the fourth quarter down a touchdown. Handoff goes up the middle. Barry is met by the Carlisle defense. Gonna have a first down, I believe. I believe it's going to be enough for a first down, though. Seven seconds to go. I think that's probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. And uh, hour and a half after kickoff here, we're going to the fourth quarter. That's exactly what we're going to do. So here we go. Fourth quarter action. Number two, Desart trailing. Number eight, Carlisle, 21 to eight. We're going to switch into the field, and we're going to be back. Don't miss it. I think we still got a, a lot of good game left. We'll be back in just a moment. We see you. Your incredible potential and willpower set you apart. You're first to take that leap of faith. First to get to work. First to solve the problem. No burden should be carried alone. We'll be there. Every step, day, challenge. First is your destiny. We get it, because first is who we are. Okay. Proudly supporting the Carlisle Bison, Anderson striping, Nathan Campbell heating in the air, Grand Prairie Electric. I say Perry, Prairie, Prairie Electric. Bank of England, Riceland Foods, Golden Family Investments, Shelter Insurance, Victor Seiden Schwartz. On the desert side of things, we got Farmers and Merchants Bank, Buddy, Childress Pest Control, Shelter Insurance, Jason Jones, Harvey's Garage, Desarc Auto and Ag, always supporting the Desarc Eagles. The Lily Pad, of course, you got D3 Auto Sales as a monthly supporter to us. They're actually a yearly supporter to us. They, they support us all year round. We appreciate that. Desarc's going to have the ball on the five-yard line. It's going to be first down and goal from the five-yard line. Nate's just kind of looking like, what's going on? I'm trying to find out what's going on. There ain't no internet there, buddy, if you're trying to do anything there. I don't know what you're doing. I just want you to switch back to the Carlisle sponsor. Gotcha. Okay, let's do that. That's what that means. Oh, gotcha. It's not hang 10. Okay. 
Uh, did you get Golden Family Investments? I did. There? I got well, it. All right, great job. And and you know we would have. I've got something that we could put on the screen, but unfortunately I can't get the internet to do it. So we're just going to have to go with it. So here we go. Desert has the ball. First and goal on the five. Ball comes around the Ooh, right hand what side. A pop. Big time stick there, but that's going to be enough. Get them down close to the goal line there. Number 12, Walker Harris. Trying to look where the stick is going to be uh, at. Looks like about the, the three. Number four, Caleb Elliott. About the three yard line there. Yeah, a little toss, a little Brings wing back toss. It's number 12, three. and he's, he's met. Believe, trying to get the muddy water to clear on the replay. Oh, that was number eight. Flanagan gets up, he scores. That's a touchdown, and Des Arcs with him one score at 21 seven, 14. 21 14. It looks like I would say Des Arcs going to go for two here. Yep, I yep. guess. A drive when they had to have it for sure. Back to a one possession game, seven point game right now. If they go for two, they can even shorten it up even more. So Again, I told you, this game wasn't over 11.26 to go. Now, the question for Carlisle is, you put one in the in, in the end zone, and this is probably ball time? game. There's probably not enough time for Desarc. So this has becomes a pivotal drive for the Carlisle Bison. They've played so well all, all game long. Desarc has played pretty well in the third quarter, though. They got a chance here. Flanagan oh, stumbles, and uh, that's going to leave it at seven the points, 21-14. Let's go to a quick break. 11.26 left, 26 left at 21.14. We'll be back in just a moment. Time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Since Duran called the mosquitoes into the booth, they've been killing us yeah. a lot, Duran. Yeah, that's my fault for sure. Right. So I heard a mosquito <laughs> was a state bird yeah. from Little Rock on oh. to the east. 11.26 <laughs> left in this one. Little sky kick. Uh -oh. Ball's on the Gotta ground. Get Who's going to get it? I think Carlisle come up with it. Tell me boy. that's not number 18. Is that number 18? If it is, he's done it a whole uh, game. I think it was 20 this time. Yep, it was number 20. Yeah. That is the Isaiah Powell, the junior. Cover up the kick a lot of good looking that athletes right there. That was a big, big time play there by Powell. And I tell you right now, he it might ain't have, easy to catch that ball when you got a bunch of no. green jerseys lining down on they you. They were you know. bearing down on him for bearing sure. So here we go, 60 yards to go for Paydirt. If you're going to be a Carlisle Bison fan here, 11:23 to go. Pivotal drive in this ball game. These two teams have been knocking each other around here. And, uh, boy, we're, we're glad to be here for this top ten matchup here on the Prairie of Arkansas. Shotgun snap, handoff goes up the middle, and that is Caleb Elliott. Elliott Number gets four, out Caleb about Elliott six on yards on the play, yards and that's going to be bring up second down and four. Tough tackle right there. He, he got popped at the end. Two guys came four. in, laid on him there. That was uh, Barry Rockins, one of them for the Eagles. But he gets up, takes his licking, and he's ready to go again. He's done it all game. That's Caleb Elliott for the for the Bison. Well, and we'd like to remind you, scoreboard or uh, overtime, Arkansas. The scoreboard show will be after this. Give us a few minutes, get things set up, and we'll we'll be down on the field as long as they leave the lights on for us. I think they will. Handoff goes off the right hand side. That's Elliott again. He picks up Number another four, six. That's going to bring a first six, down for Carlisle. Ball's going to be spotted by in between the uh, 40, uh, 8 and 47. Is you know, I was, was going to say, Bison. if anybody's listening, they have some off or some First cutter, some repel, bring it on up here, throw it up here for us. But, you know, I started thinking about, like, people up here, they don't they don't even nah, use that stuff. They're used to it. Yeah, exactly. You know, we ate enough salsa at Nick's today. I thought we'd be all right, but, <laughs> but definitely not. Well, Nick's Barbecue <laughs> treated us right. Thank you yeah, to did. the uh, Carlisle Booster Club for that one. We appreciate them. 10-12 to go. Little play action fake, throw out to the wing. Not much doing good there. Defense that time Number nine, Holden Jones pass complete. I'll tell you right now, though, yeah. I love to watch this Carlisle offensive line. They are physical at the point of attack. 
and they were last year as well. And I, I've been impressed with them. Pick up of about three and, and four uh, yards it, it's play. been it's been a been a very good showing here. Brings up second down and about seven. So second down and seven for the Bison. For under ten minutes to go here in this ball game. You know, the way this ball game has moved, you've got to think that pretty soon you've got to make your move of your Desarc. Handoff goes off. They're really just running A gap, B gap. Yeah. I mean, it's left, right, but really it's just up the middle, and that was uh, up the middle, and that's going to be bring up a third and four, three yards on the gain there. Just running that clock right now. We'll see how, what time they snap it. 33. We're going to make it 30 on the clock now, the play clock. I bet it's under up third 15. Four. They've actually gone a little quicker than I thought they would on this drive. Yep. Trying to keep some pace, I guess. You know, they feel like they need to stick one more in the end zone. 19, 18 on the clock. They'll snap it at 15. Yep. Handoff goes to the left-hand side. I think it's going to be enough for a first Number down. Four, Spot's really going to be three. close. That is going to be enough for and a if first down. If you're a Carlisle Bison fan, if you're a coach, Result this is what you're wanting right now. You, you want to be able to get that ball with the First lead the late in the, the fourth Eagles quarter and say, hey, line. we're going to hand it off and we're going to run it. Can you stop us? And right now they're imposing their will. They're, yep. it's, it's three yards, four yards on a cloud of dust, so to speak, running that clock, and this is exactly what you want right here. That's what they've Bully done. All, they've really done that all game long. They've been – very consistent. Their drives have ate up. This is this reminds me so much of what Brett Bielema wants That's to do. Exactly what I was thinking about. You know, reminds me of Arkansas at Texas Tech. You know, not quite that much, but you know where you can't stop it. Number right nine, that game. Jones on the keeper, pick up about five yards on the play. Then Texas Tech went and got Pat and Mahomes. And, yeah, well they had him the year before, Rockets. but he wasn't very good. Not yet. He found it. And then <laughs> in the next year, that was kind of when. At about actually, that was our best line. year under Bielema in 15 when we actually lost to Tech. They kind of yeah. got it rolling after that. It was a one and three start. Ended up eight and five. Of course, winning against Kansas State in the Liberty Bowl. Brandon Allen seven game stretch, probably the best seven game stretch of any quarterback in Arkansas history. Yes, he was unbelievable down the stretch there. Had yeah, the Hunter heave, all that went down. Yeah, we hadn't even had time to talk about the Razorbacks. This game has been so good. 7:35 to go. 21-14 is the score. Carlisle driving. We'll be back here in just a moment. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but we know there's growth in the journey. At ATU, we value this moment because here, nature becomes your classroom. So breathe it in. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. The Bison. Jim Moody down there with the shot. I think Jim's liking that. What do you think? I do. I think so. And uh, doing a good job at it. I don't know if he's ever done it before, but uh, yep. give the man credit. If this is his got, first opportunity. Got some. We get some use of the Hollylands. We haven't had the use of them Hollylands in a while. Right now we're shooting a wireless signal from the uh, the sideline, if you don't know that. So, we're, yeah, yeah, we're cool. I know. You don't have to tell us. If you're interested in sponsoring <laughs> us, like D3 Auto Sales, let us know. But we're going to hand it off to the left-hand side going up. Just again, A gap, B Number gap. Four, it's really – it's, it's inside zone. That was fourth down, by the way. Did you know that? Yeah. Uh, I forgot, actually, coming yeah. back from that break. But what I liked about that play – they were in a shotgun. Number number they faked the jet sweep on the snap yeah. and hand it to him. He had a full head of steam by the time he got to the line. He was able to just blow through there. Takes the great eye discipline on the linebackers and really puts a lot of pressure on them. And I, I tell you what, this, this offense of Carlisle is tough. It really is. It's it's going to be a hard one to handle. And I don't think this Bison team is really showing to be a team that's going to contend in 2A. They're doing enough to spread you out three wide, and they're just doing power football. It, it makes it harder for you to do more than eight to the box. You number know, eight. Right. Let's give me number four. So you got you got uh, Carlisle and Desart. You got Desart and Hazen. At the end of the season, you're going to have Carlisle Eldridge. and Hazen. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's it's a, a triangle. triangle. Yeah, it's triangle here in in the east part of Arkansas, Mine's and uh, we're we're keeping our eye on it. I can tell you that much. Reminds me of one of my favorite hunting spots. We call it the triangle. Yeah. <laughs> so. Clock is slowly winding on the Eagles right now, and you got to think 
This set of downs right here is a massive set of downs for, for the Eagles. Quarterback keep and bust it up in there for a few Number nine, hold hey, few yards. Can, is Allen, five, is Allen close? No. Tackle made by number 64, Cole Hunt. That brings up third down and about four. Okay. Got to get the battery switched out downstairs. 5.50 to go, third down and four. Ball on the 18-yard line here. Another pivotal play for this, uh, both teams really. And uh, Desert really needing to stop here. Right now, Carlisle is just going forward. Steadily, steadily, steadily here. Snap, handoff goes to the right-hand side. That's probably going to be enough for a first down. And it Number is four, Caleb, Elliott, Caleb Elliott picks up the first Pick down. The He's been a fantastic Six, player. D3 auto sales player Cole of the game. I'll tell you right now, Caleb Elliott, is, he, I feel like Result he's on the inside track. Right now, the car by first and 10 at about the 11-yard line. Ball on the 11. Desark really needs something good to happen here if you're on defense. Carlisle trying to put the game away here if you're on offense. Just outside of goal territory here. Ball on the 11-yard line. And uh, we've got uh, shotgun one to the right. Two wide receivers up top. Handoff goes off to the left-hand side. Cuts up the field. That's a touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown Caleb Elliott. He does it again. That's his third touchdown of the ball game. And that's going to be enough for a 27-14 lead for the Carlisle Bison. Four forty-six remaining as Carlisle lines up for the extra point. Kick is up. And it's no good. PAT is no good. 27-14. So we're going to go to a quick break. Game, 27. We'll be back Eagles here in just 14. a moment with the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week. Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. Back here from Carlisle, 27-14, the number eight bison over the Desert Eagles, number two in our 2A poll. 13-point lead for the bison. And, uh, you know, two scores, 446 to go. It's really not in the Eagles type of game right now. It's, it's still possible, though. That missed extra point did leave the, a, little, a little crack in the door. So They got their toe in it, but they really got to kick it open right now. So big thing. They got to drive down and score quickly. Big thing that, that you got to say if you're, you're uh, Desark right now, you need a big return. That would help out tremendously, and he's going to have a chance. It's good down defense. To the 30 yard line. Nice job by Carlisle staying in their lane. Number one, Tang Children. Stay in their lanes. Return. They just Brings ran the through the block. About the 30 yard line. 441 to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. 69 yards from Paydirt is the Desert Eagles, and they've got to move quickly. We got some more scores coming in. Uh, this one, last update was second quarter. Lamar. 20, box height 13. That's a huge Listen, one. let me tell you something. Lamar, number six in our polls, I believe, or eight? Six, uh, I believe. Something like that. Lamar's one of the most well-coached teams in the entire state of Arkansas. Flanagan gets number across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two or three yards on the play. Hey, uh, I, was, just, I just call it like I see it. Yes, sir, I believe you. I, I know so. Uh, done quite a few games with Lamar over the years. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you, you know you I call it like I see it, head, right? <laughs> <laughs> 28-7 Conway over uh, Louisiana Wachita. They're really good. Wachita, Washita. I don't know what I was thinking. Flanagan there. comes across. Trying to read and 
do all this at the same time. Oh, what you Number seven, Cash, Cash yeah, Flanagan. No. The keeper, pick up Flanagan the guards, gets down. Going to be about third down and four. four here. Ball is going to be on the 37. Greenbrier on top of Van Buren, 29-20 in a second. Conway now up 35-7 <laughs> over Washington. Some games Washington. are in the second quarter, and here we are, 3.53 to go in the ball game. Cabot down 13-7 over Ruston, Louisiana in the third. Flanagan takes it, gets up the field. He's Big behind run. the defense. Runs over him, uh -oh. man. He's behind uh -oh. the defense. Down to the 35-yard line. Big run it. by Flanagan and a touchdown Flanagan saving tackle by Preston Parker right play. there. They, they no Man, longer just have their two. toe in the door. They Preston got their foot in the Parker. door. Desert still, though. Gotta go they quick. have got to go. Down to First three, and 10 for the Eagles at 38 the 35-yard line. Flanagan looks like he's a little bit tired right now, kind of yeah. grabbing them <laughs> knees. El Dorado on top of Green County Tech, 34 nothing in the 24 -0. Flanagan the dropping third. back to pass. He's rolling out. He tries to make got something happen. Gets it out to the wing. Completed pass. That's going to be enough for a first down. Desart moving seven, much Cash quicker Cash right Cash now Cash on Cash offense. Cash Flanagan is so Number tired, though. Hayden Brown. Look at him. He's, he's almost a trip in there. He's so, he's so tired. Tackle made by number two, Preston Parker. Give him a little toss play right here, maybe. It might help him get a breather. Clock starts again down to 305. Pitch and outside to, toss. <laughs> to Bell. Bell wow. gets to the outside. Cuts in. Gets down to about the 13-yard line. Desart, look how quick they're moving now. The, the urgency is there. He's helping them. The play, they had some angle. They had some pursuit lines there to get him in the backfield, and Bell just outran it. He just outran that angle, showing off some speed. Good pickup. Brings up second down. They got a move, though. Two. Yep. Down to 240. I would expect an onside if they score here. About the 13 you got yard three line. timeouts, too, so they're, they're still there. Another toss. Oh, he's got. Oh, look at that linebacking play from Gabe Boyle right there. Unbelievable play. Well, he's been big okay. all night. Carlisle, both sides of the ball. Tell you what, he, he is definitely flash tonight. I want to thank Bill Harshaw for sending these scores over to us. Little Rock Southwest, 13. Hot Springs, 6 in the that's second a much, quarter. A much improved team down there. 28-21, Mitten over Catholic in the third. I'll tell you what, we had Little Rock Southwest in our initial 7A poll, and people were like, Southwest, what? <laughs> Number 33, well, Gage. They don't look so bad now. Barry on the key. <laughs> they they thought it was something to text Max at first, you know. <laughs> Lake Hamilton, 2017 over Mountain Home in the third. The nine yard line. Greenbrier, 29-20 over Van Buren. I think I already gave that one. West Memphis, 20-14 in the second over Sheridan. So 150 to go in this one. Desark's got to have something happen quickly. Try to get an onside kick, get the ball back. Trap nice play. play. Yep, kick. he's in. That's a nice play by Desark. Nine-yard nice touchdown two, run by Davion Bell. Bell. He's been impressive. I will say this. I would get the ball to him more. You know, I, I feel like. He's starting to look more like Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> <laughs> so Desark now down 27-20. Did he play for Michigan State? If I remember right yes, he did. That green. Yeah. Kind of, I mean, they're really looking similar. Okay, so similar. Here, here's a big situation. Right now, Carlisle needs a stop on this play, 27-20. You want to keep it at a seven-point game. If they get to this 27-22 mark, they're going to onside kick it here. Now, they've got three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, it honest. doesn't mean it's not it's over just yet. Desert's already kicked an extra point tonight. I'm kind of surprised they're not – it. Nah, but he's got it. Oh, mm, no. Oh, what tackle. a play. What a play by Caleb Elliott. Unbelievable. Back. Doing it on both sides of the football. No good. Tackle made by number four, Caleb Elliott. Oh. oh, I thought we had a flag. They were just throwing the football in. 140 uh, to go. Are you a little surprised they didn't just kick the extra point there? They made uh, one tonight on their first drive. Yeah, I mean, you're right about or that. Or was Desert no, up 87? No, they were up They, were. Okay. Seven. they yeah. haven't kicked one. Okay. So I was yeah. thinking maybe they had the ability to. But, uh, Carlisle's the one that's been trying to kick ex extra points right. tonight. So now, really comes down to this. I mean, not to say, Desert can stop them and get the ball back, but you're talking you're talking about just a little bit of time left. One forty to go. 15-14, one up Ridge on top of Salem by one. That was just before half. Hazen all over McCrory, twenty six nothing in the third, and Central Arkansas Christian. And Haskell, 14-13, late oh, in the second wow. half. Okay, so late here, in the first half. Here we go. Onside kick coming. Flanagan lines it up. Here's the kick. Ball's on the ground, oh. and Carlisle has it. Number 20 again. 45-yard line, and 
the only hope for the Eagles at this point nope, is no three. first number down. 10, Caden on the cover of the Again, we're going to have overtime Arkansas. We're going to have it on the field. If you are a part of the winning team and you're watching this, make sure you're shooting it down there. We're going to have uh, we're going to have it down there. You can be a part of our overtime Arkansas uh, show here just by coming down and just being part of our backdrop. So uh, we're going to try to get set up. Um, we usually get set up later, but uh, this game's moving quick. So we've got a little bit of time to move our stuff down. So give us some time, and, and we'll get it set up, and we're going to um, experience victory with somebody here. 139 to go. Carlisle, if they just keep a hold of the ball, they've got a great chance of winning this ball game. Yeah, and that uh, was – that was go ahead. Goes off to the right. Ball's on the ball. ground. And Carlisle has it. It's oh, bounced their God. way all oh, night. Goodness. I was going to say that was Caden Kleeman, a junior that Pick was the good hands on that last one, number 10. Oh, my wow. goodness. What a play. It might have been a game-saving play by Devin Cooney. I think that's – who took the timeout? Desert. Desert took the timeout. Whew, that's a good time for Carlos head coach, though, to get into the, get into him a little bit. You, you gotta got to protect, protect the rock right now. Now, one of the things that you got to say right now for Carlisle is they've just gone forward the whole night. I mean, there's just been very few negative plays for them. And right now, if you're Desert, you've got to have basically little to no gain right now. Watching the replay on our feed, you can, of course, you can back that up. If you're at the concession stand, well, he, he was close to down. Actually, uh, yeah, Elliot, I think just, he might have been, but you don't want to give it. any opportunity. Right. You know, you got to secure well, that ball. They played it as a fumble. I can tell you that. True. So if if they had recovered it, it would have been a fumble recovery. So anyway, again, let's thank our sponsors real quick one more time. Anderson Striping proudly supporting the Carlisle Bison. Nathan Campbell. Heating and Air, Grand Prairie Electric, Zach King, Bank of England, Riceland Foods, Golden Family Investments, Shelter Insurance, Victor Seiden Schwartz. On the Desert side, you've got Farmers and Merchants Bank, Buddy Children's Pest Control, Shelter Insurance, Jason Jones, Harvey's Garage, Desert Auto and Ag, supporting the Desert Eagles and the Lilypad Boutique. Bring you out the run, three wide. Handoff goes up the middle, that's going to do it right there. I think that's going to do it. Caleb Elliott picks up Number the first four, down, 128 to go. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a flag from behind the, the play, so let's see. The head ref calls the flag. What do we got? What do we got here? Everybody kind of holding up. They, they're moving it back. What do we got? Got a timeout. I think there may be some unsportsman like he's writing something down. Is this a timeout? Surely they didn't take a timeout right now in a dead ball situation. I guess they may have had, with a running play, they had to have took, taken a timeout because once the uh, chains got set, the clock started again. So at this point, if you're Desarc, the only thing that you've got really is to be able to strip, strip the ball, try to get it, get your hands on it, get the ball on the ground. That's it, and if you're, I would say right now, if you're Carlisle, you sit on it. I know, still there. Still waiting to see what the call is here. I think I think we fixed our signal problem with that there. Yeah, and I'm just, are they waiting for the timeout at the end to make a call? I don't know. I've never seen this. Switch camera, switch camera, switch camera. <laughs> We're moving. <laughs> Getting a better okay. angle. What do we got here? So. Flag on the ground. Head ref going to make the call here. Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike on Desart. That's, that's going to move him up. First down, I think that's going to do it. So yeah, they Car don't have enough time to stop it. If Carlisle they, they going to make a move in our 2A poll. Yes, sir. If you're watching from Carlisle right now, we're going to. I want you to be a part of our overtime Arkansas scoreboard show, see if they can keep the lights on the football field for us. We're going to do some scores, and we're going to talk to some players after the ball game, coaches as well. Maybe they can keep that scoreboard on for us. Maybe so. Maybe so. I'll see what I, we can get going here. But uh, we got to get some electricity down there. We were told we could run that from the, the uh, field house. But what a great night for the Carlisle Bison. Looks like they're going to go uh, to move on to 2-1 uh, and one on the season. Oh, he might just put the icing on the cake. And let's go ahead and give it to him right now. D3 yep. Auto Sales, player of the ball game, Caleb Elliott, running back for the Carlisle Bison. 
we unfortunately couldn't keep stats on him just because of our internet situation. Timeout, Eagles. Fantastic, fantastic ball game. Desert calling a timeout. Carlisle trying to get the fans into the ball game as the Carlisle Bison looks like they're going to move on for the victory. Again, stay tuned. We'll have overtime Arkansas. Uh, join us. Join us down on the field. Celebrate the victory. Uh, unless something crazy happens between now and the last one minute and 17 seconds. Yep, we're going to take a miraculous miracle. The result of that play is good of, for another card. We're going to fumble in a victory formation for any First chance. First and goal at about the eight-yard line. Carlisle's celebrating right now, feeling good about themselves. And, uh, you know, this is the final tune-up. Out of conference game, these two are not in the conference. Desert plays. Yeah, I, I miss North of that earlier. That's yeah. true. Yeah, Desert plays northeast, and uh, Carlisle plays back toward the central, uh, along with Hazen. Hazen does as well. Desert plays up, you know, EPC mm -hmm. and, and Cross County Mark is another Tree. one. Mark Tree. They, and that's a tough conference, by the way. Tough two a conference. Who's Earl in with? Are they in that one? They're in that one as well. Okay. I believe Clarendon is on that one. Yes. Elaine, maybe. Elaine, I don't think a they're a little bit further down. I don't know if they're, they're Are they even eight man anymore. right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking of the old. Uh, can't remember the running back out of there anymore. They had the national record there for a while. Oh gosh, I remember his name. I Jer Jeremy. Oh. No, that's not right. And here we go. Carlisle taking a knee. One sixteen to go. Desark mm -hmm. has one timeout. Will they choose to use it? Referee saying something to the Bison. Even if they do use it, it's, <laughs> they can, it's just kneeling it out from one, there. One more time before we go into overtime Arkansas. Again, give us a few minutes. We'll get set up downstairs. We're going we're gonna to try to uh, have this down with the people, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Join us downstairs. Carlisle picks up the victory or getting close to it, 44 seconds to go. All they've got to do is kneel on it one more time. 27-20 is the score. Carlisle will move up in Arkansas Sports Network poll. And uh, big win. Desert still got a lot to play for throughout the season. So this is going to be it. Again, Holden Jones takes a knee. As time switches down, Desert goes to the sideline. Carlisle goes to the sideline. It looks like Carlisle going to pick up the victory. Caleb Elliott is our D3 Auto Sales player of the ball game. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back with uh, our wrap-up here, and we'll get you ready for overtime. Arkansas final score here from Carlisle. Carlisle 27, that Desert 20. Game. We'll Carlisle be back in just a moment. Desert 20. So hot, you're going to think my prices look like a mirage. Wrong. The prices on these trucks are the lowest prices ever. My trucks look different. Drink plenty of water and wipe your eyes. You're not going to believe these prices. Go to D3 Auto Sales on Facebook right now. We're back here on the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week, and uh, we've got a final score here, 27-20. Carlisle looking good, being uh, moving to 2-1 and one in the non-conference. They're going to go into conference play now. Uh, big time, big time victory for them. Desark falls to 2-1 and one as well. They had a, a very tough game. I expect that Desark will bounce back. The Boy, I tell you what, you talk about tough conferences. Desark's got a, a very, very tough one right now. You see... Carlisle players kind of come and celebrate. Yep, they're going to come <laughs> celebrate with their fans. So let's let's give a shout-out one more time. Anderson Striping, Nathan Campbell, Heating and Air, Grand Prairie Electric, Zach King, Bank of England, Riceland Foods, Golden uh, Family Investments, Shelter Insurance, Victor, Seiden Schwartz. And we can't do this without you. I promise you that. We can't do it without you. On the desert side of things, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Buddy Childress Pest Control, Shelter Insurance, Jason Jones, Harvey's Garage, Desert Auto and Ag, always supporting the Desert Eagles and the Lily Pad Boutique. So, again, guys, we thank you so much for joining us here on the Arkansas Sports Network Game of the Week. We're going to go to Overtime Arkansas, and we're going to get set up. We're going to try to get down and uh, just uh, enjoy this win with uh, Carlisle Bison. And, again, uh, also, uh, we want to thank uh, Carlisle Booster Club and Nick's Barbecue. 
uh, for feeding us tonight. We're, we're so glad that uh, you guys embrace us here, and I, I promise you it makes us want to come back. So for Duran Miller. Just now starting to feel good after <laughs> eating all that. I mean, it was, it was fire, that's for sure. Right. For Duran Miller, I'm Brad Caldwell saying so long. We'll be back here in a few minutes with Overtime Arkansas. And uh, if you want to join us downstairs, we're going to have Overtime Arkansas in just a few minutes.